guys tmd live in the building it's been a long awaited video um i have about seven of these hobby japan magazines to review uh, it's been a long time guys so basically i'm going to be uploading some new videos uh reviewing some back editions of the uh hobby japan magazine i'm so sorry that i've been so delayed with uh, getting these reviews out it's been a, a mad few well beginning of half the year and i haven't had much time to uh quote unquote get back into the modeling or do modeling reviews and i know a lot of people i've lost a lot of subscribers probably because i've been doing just random blogs in japan but hey man that's how life goes but anyway let's just jump straight into this this is actually the first edition of 2022 is uh january of this year and this issue number is number 631 price 1000 yen but I borrow these from my work, so I don't need to buy these. But if you are interested, hook me up, let me know, send me a DM. Um, shipping right now is a bit of a nightmare. We've got this war in the Ukraine and loads of mad stuff. So hopefully I might get back into the old TMD selling game, uh, maybe in the middle of this year. I just needed a long break, guys. I've been really busy with work, so I haven't had much time to focus on uh tmd business side of it all but yeah it's been a mad time so anyway let's not waste any time guys let's crack into this now this particular diorama build uh, gundam build was floating about on the socials i remember and uh i saw i went to work i think it was after christmas when i got back off the break and i was like oh it's that kit man they actually featured this in the magazine. Uh, apparently, this is from uh, the it's the championship final battle space uh, fortress Solomon, the twenty four Japan Orozaku. Uh, I don't know if it's competition or something. I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe you guys know more than me, but I mean, <laughs> there's no words to describe how crazy that diorama is. Anyway. I've basically tried to fix my lighting, but for some reason, guys, I'm still, I'm using a diffuser at the moment. I don't really have a pro setup, so I'm trying to figure out which is the best option for me to use. But anyway, I think this is the best how I can get it. Anyway, as always, uh, inside cover, you've got all your Medicom, Mafix, mainly all the Kubrick stuff. All that good stuff, man. So you've got well, loads of stuff, man. I'm not really into Kubricks. I do, I do have a few small ones. I'm not into like collecting those huge ones that cost a lot of money. But there 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 are a few that I, I would really consider getting because um, they're just so cool. Anyway, I think most of my videos showcase Kubrick Company. The bare brick, sorry. So we get into the uh, first section of the book. Just got some promos. Oh, got some Krios uh, metal files. Anyway, Alice Gear Agis. I hope that's the right pronunciation. Obviously, uh, Kurt Bakir did these. I have this one. I've, I've actually got this on the build. I started. <laughs> I started this one. Oh, when, man? I can't remember. Like, a good four years ago. A good four years ago. Um, so, sorry about that light, guys. I can't help it. It's just that I don't have studio lights in here. It's terrible. What the hell is that? Easy paint. I've never seen that before by Gaia Notes. It's like a... What is that? Like, it's like an airbrush, but I can. Compressed air. Uh, here we go with the contents. I'm going to try and get this video out as kind of quickly as I can, as in the review, because I don't want to, like, you know, waffle on too much and bore people with this. Because uh, it's, you know, I can spend hours talking about this magazine and what's featured in it, but we'll just flick through it quickly. Uh, so we've got this border communication space, nice cool mecha design, I don't know who builds that, Bandai Spirits, there you go, from the new Gundam thing, 
another four mechanics, one for uh, one to forty eight scale. And we get to that amazing diorama build. Must have been like a competition. I do know my friend, uh, his name now, Luca, is it? He was telling me about this uh, last year or the year before, or <laughs> even longer. But, guys, I'm sorry about that fucking light. Um, this diorama build is absolutely insane. MS in action, ABS PVC. It's it's just mind blowing. I mean, I don't know how good you're gonna pick that up on camera, but it is absolutely insane. <laughs> There's no words to describe this. I don't know how long this guy spent doing this build. There's probably some information down at the bottom, but yeah, it's. Uh, it's insane to say, to say the least, man. It's it's amazing. It's a work of art. Definitely a work of art. If you want to buy this magazine, I'm pretty sure you know now it's out. You can get used magazines a bit cheaper because these are back issues. So, Sawa Bandai Spirits. Looks like the Dom. Got this weird thing here. What the hell's that? <laughs> It's like some oh, it's a sea urchin. Isn't it? I don't know what that is. Build divers. Oh, it must be some competition then. Kit bashing or something. And they're all in different categories. This is the SD range. Uh, there's another one. Gundam Age. They, they do have a junior section. I think this is it, isn't it? It's all color coded at the uh, side. Build drivers, yeah, it's been a kickback competition. Some cool stuff in here, guys. I think this is the juniors. This is a junior entry here. It's pretty cool, man. Some good stuff in there. Anyway, I think on here this gives the um, what is it? The entries people who entered. I'll, I'll flick through these because it's, you know, like again, I could spend hours talking about each build, but let's just flick through it. There's, I mean, already from what I can see here, there's some amazing stuff, some very creative stuff. Uh, and yeah, it's really, yeah, I don't know about other countries in the world when they have these competitions, but this one is, I know, a huge one. I, I know about this. I've got a few magazines with these competition entries from... Uh, from years ago, like I said, <laughs> can't talk about every single one, but yeah, it looks very good. The stand is very high, man. It's Japan, man. it's the best. But it's kind of cool that you know you entered this competition and then you uh, you get your work submitted into the magazine. It's nice. There's so many entries here. <laughs> That's how, how popular Gundam It's not like Australia. Oh, any other country. It's so popular here, this hobby. Especially Gumbra. Gumbra! <laughs> Gumbra. So, yeah, this, this is mad. Look, it's just all these kits. It's just pages and pages of this. So, <laughs> and I flicked through two there, two pages. Look how many entries there were, man. It just goes on and on. It's just pages and pages of it. SD range. It'd be kind of cool to see the uh, under 15s section and see how good those bills were, man. Anyway, you get the general gist. You, you get the idea, right? Uh, is that the next magazine? Uh, Gundam Virtue. Virtue. GN005. Big ass feet. Look at those feet, man. Chunky. It's a real chunky kit, man. Gundam Nadir. Nad Nalid. Nalid. Gundam Helios. 
Show you a breakdown of the part bills. Blah, 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 blah. So these, like I said, these magazines are really good. They give you ideas, they give you tips on building, they give you tips on um, custom making stuff. So that's the Gundam uh, GZ91X, really easy, easy. Sorry, I'm really crap with these pronunciations. It's a custom build. See, all these tips that you get here pretty handy man and it's every month you'll get one of these well you get quite a few how to do's in here so these stuff just giving you tips on how to like build and all. yeah I mean you guys who watch my channel have seen it. Oh, if you to complete you know about this Hey, most modelers should know about this magazine. Ah, uh, talking about um, Gunpla, I think in a few weeks McDonald's are doing a, a what is it, like a char gun, Gunpla thing. So I wonder if they'll have any toys, Happy Set toys, they must have. I didn't go to the old Japan Hobby Show. I haven't been going anywhere uh, of late. Some have been cancelled, some I don't want to go. These look like Gundam military generation like figures. These look pretty cool, man. Scale are they? In height, the was it 10 centimeters? Jex Gundam Express accessories, metal builds. You get like this cool poster in here. Of that diorama. Look at this, this is mad. Oh, that must have taken that guy years to build that. This is insane. But neatly. Good done fixed figuration. Some brackets here. Like I said, I'm just skimming through all this, guys. I want to keep this video quite short. I'm just showing you what's in there. Gumpla heads. A guy with a big fucking sword. Don't know what that's about. Uh, Ame Kuni Kizin. This is. Jorgen. Sorry guys, you, give me some feedback on that, on this video for all you modelers. If you want more information about the kit or what it is or when it's out, I'll try and you know answer those in the comments. Armored, oh yeah, I'm all, armored special carrier ASC by Bandai. I saw this on uh, some of the forums. It looks, <laughs> looks strange. Cool though, you could you know add some stuff to it. Weapon rack. Internals. This it must be a, a carrier of some sort. Uh, I don't bother with this. Or Japanesey, lemon squeezy. Biar uh, Kuchi Island. And their spirit. Uh, is it Gulupian class? Multiple deck Astro Carrier. Uh, five star stories. Information that is show Kugan modeling project. Uh, these are custom ah, what's this? It's from Alaska. The hell's that? <laughs> Premium Bandai, P Bandai. I don't know what this is. I'm sure that's from the Jubilee movie. Could be wrong. Uh, Thunderbirds. What the hell? Oh, Oshima. Yeah, you guys are into Thunderbirds. I think some people have bought Thunderbirds from me before. Amazing Bill. That's the driller. That drill thing. It's really well painted. Really well uh, weathered as well. It's beautiful. Beautiful work. Uh, this is the full range of... Uh, 
the kits that you can buy. But I know Ashima do the full range, I think. I like number f I like four, but that's... Is that the boat one? Yeah, number four. I love that boat. Reminds me of the uh, shuttle from Star Wars. Oop, four's going on. Who's that? Square Enix products. Some neck cherry here. So this is from Square Enix. These, these look pretty cool, man. These are dope. Like I said, guys, I'll just show you guys. You guys, what's up? Uh, minimum factory. Is that a Macross kit? I don't know. Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. It's the front section. Cockpit. Cool. That's, that's nice, man. This is must be all Macross stuff. Did I miss a page? Sorry, guys. Hobby Extra magazine. Pretty good magazine, that one. Sometimes they just concentrate on specific things. And how to do's. That extra magazine is nice as well. Uh, Fafnir Mark Shine. Good smile. Meh. Nah, not my cup of tea. <laughs> Sorry. Good smile. Not my cup of tea at all. I met a lot. Zoids. I'd love to read Japanese. Oh, but these, man. Look at these bills here. These are absolutely amazing. Sorry, guys. Sorry for that. Legend Blue Burning Liger. Yeah, th these are amazing. Lovely build. Ultraman. I've only seen Japan as a new Ultraman movie out now. My son's not really into it, but he likes Gosen Ranger. It's a different type of uh, drama series in Japan. There he is. Figure eyes. He's got a motorbike. Kamen Rider, this is Kamen Rider, I think. Mast Rider, yeah, Cougar. Or oh, a trail bike, it's a figure kit. Batman, figure eyes, amplified. Bandai Spirits. Shit, man, look at that. That's insane. I know, like, Batman, they've released some Batman kits, right, of late. Bandai. Batmobile. <coughs> yeah, man, I suppose. If you like like a kind of mechanoid Batman, <laughs> this is the way to go. Look, it's pretty nice. Oh, figure, sorry. Rockman X, second armor. It's Ultraman. You could check Alice Gear, I guess. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's unbelievable, man. Cop Kia still. Uh, Oh, Bandai Spirits, this one, is it? Yeah. Crazy, man. Not bad. Uh, typically, uh, people like to use... Uh, I have some weathering for makeup and stuff like that, and skin tones. That's most of the FAG stuff. It's, it's like that. I know Bandai kind of trying to jump into that market, but I don't think they're as successful with it as... Got Bikia's range of, you know, Mega Man device girls and you've got three mountains and whatnot. And, uh, painting sanders. I'll be Japan doing sanders. Right, man. They're getting the jumping in on this man. God hand scribers. This is tooling and stuff like that. Krios have got some new files. Godzilla. Are you Godzilla fan? Big shot going up to uh, Bad Grendel's John. Are we doing well, man? I know he's a he's a bit of a fan of this. I live in Japan. Uh, I used to watch it when I was a kid, but yeah, it's cool. But I mean, uh, I, I'm not very really interested in it. But. Anyway, Ultraman, Komori Project. Oh, these, these are pretty cool. 
Oh, see, Warhammer now is getting so popular in Japan. Oh, that's the Squig Rider. I, I, I have that, but in metal. The first stuff. Uh, Normal Ken, Act 42. Some tips on doing scrap builds. Um, doing mods and stuff like that. I love that book, actually. It's a very good book. It, probably, Normal Ken is one of the best... Um, affordable books and tips and tricks on how to build Gundam specifically but I like the one where they do the whole tooling I've got a few books from them one book is just on tools and equipment man it's, it's pretty insane so if you're interested uh, get a pen and paper normal can you can probably pick them up got some raccoon the raccoon I know this is new release by uh, Machine and Krieger same old, same old, different colours. And at the bottom there's a Storm Kafer by a different company out now, I think. We're getting into tanks for you armour guys. Grab grab a beer, grab a coffee. British Crusader Mark Three. Oh that's pretty cool. Austin Armoured Car Third series. Probably that's presume that's World War One stuff, maybe. Open the box specials, all tanks for you armor guys. This looks pretty dope. I really want to get modeling again, guys. It's been so long. I've been obviously I'm busy at work, but um, I've been looking at stuff from. I just need to get back on and motivate myself. But the problem is my new desk setup. I don't have much room anymore. I've got my work monitor in front of me and I can't be bothered to uh, move it around so but I'm gonna have to do it if I want to get back into the modeling stuff anyway diversion super marine spitfire beautiful big shout out to rebel Cloud nine Mesha Schmidt your planes. Okay, again, guys, if you if got any questions about this magazine, holler at me, write in the comments. Pagini Zonda Z12, beautiful car. Love Zondas. Obviously, we've got the contact by Lamborghini LPI 804. This is by. No, it doesn't say. Scratch build. Yeah, it? He's into it. Yeah, again, I've got so many car kits. Got the Liberty Walks, the GTRs to build. Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm looking at it in my, my life now thinking, how am I going to build everything? It's impossible. That's why I've stopped. I haven't bought a kit, actually, guys. No word of a lie. For at least over a year or two years. That's how crazy I've just, like, <laughs> got out of the hobby for a while. I say a while, two years. Big shout out to Frank from Germany. Oh, he's, he's on my page. He does some like, awesome car kits. Anyway, this is a train. Beautiful. Lovely diorama. I love train dioramas, man. They're beautiful. They're amazing. People that do that stuff is so talented. Featuring new products. I don't know what that is. It's, uh, it's a bomber Lancaster. Bikes. We haven't even got into the pony stuff yet. These are all kits that are probably out now, or out very soon, because this was magazine was out in uh, January of this year. So, yeah, obviously some of these kits will be out in a few months, probably. So much stuff in Japan, guys. This is all the stuff that comes out monthly. This is just one set and the next. Oh, what the hell is this? This looks amazing. Scratch built, no face, modeled, modeled and described by uh, Saiso Sam, collection number 42 HMS. Wow, this is dope. Oh, what the hell is this? I love that. One. That's sick. What? Dude. Oh man, I need to get back to the morning. This is this is really uh, annoying me. 
Not really interested in this stuff, but anyway. Fill your boots, guys. I said, say, I don't think you guys are into that. Ah, oh, I've got some Marvel stuff. Deadpool, Wolverine, these are all biomaphics. Oh, this is pretty cool, what's that? Oh, by Kaido, some like monk guy. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, some Wonderland. Sick! Kamen Rider. Now we're getting into Barbie. What the fuck is Barbie doing on here, guys? It's got a miniature TV in her back. That's insane. Right, for all you under 18, it's time to vacate the room. We've got some new shit coming up. Break his Cyrus, cheer, some anime. Woo, can I? Look at all these girls jumping around with their little socks. Kawaii. Kirby. Wow, there's no pawn. That's unbelievable. Strange. Kirby, toys. Plush. Soft toys. Hard toys. Last bullet on the flat through this guys. All you figure fans, Miku. An evil Miku. Sabu. Ooh, the major. Ghost in the shell. Gigsack. How much is that? 50. You see, man, this is why I don't buy these figures anymore. They're so expensive. 15,000 yen for a figure, man. Jesus. Crazy money. Crazy money. Sabu formula. Desktop army. Guilty Princess! What's this? Some weird stuff. Figurines. There's a model kit, man. Awesome. The samurai. Uh, Demon Slayer. Of course. <sighs> Big knockers. Big axe! Look, how much is that gonna cost me? Twenty thousand yen, two hundred dollars for that figure. All the, oh, actually, this is one model. That, uh, the face on it's amazing. Beatless. More Japanese toys, tits, ass, legs, all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Figurines. More figurines. For all you otaku nerds out there, Tim, if you're watching, man. <laughs> We've got some of those dolls, probably from Volk, maybe, I don't know. Some expensive things. Uh, HF Frontline, I think this is some information, some news. Oh, this samurai. Right. SH, uh, SH figure out this samurai group. Sure. Toys, gremlins, turtles. So all these toys. So maybe it's just information maybe of what's coming out. A lot of bad bits of warships. There's not much stuff on ships actually. And at the back of this magazine it has all the shops and contacts. And stuff like that where you can buy some I've never really looked at the back of the ads I suppose most of these might be uh, shops in Akihabara so anyway there you go guys um, new was that a new phantom? god I didn't see that man Sakura awesome but that's the end of the video guys I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and uh, big shout out to all my fans. Peace out. Tune me up.